Magma Generation Magma generation is a fundamental process in the Earth's geology, crucial for the formation of igneous rocks and the evolution of our planet's surface. Magma, a molten mixture of rock-forming minerals, gases, and fluids, is generated deep within the Earth's mantle through a combination of heat, pressure, and compositional changes. The primary source of heat for magma generation is the Earth's internal heat, which is a remnant of the planet's formation and ongoing radioactive decay of elements like uranium, thorium, and potassium. This heat drives convection currents within the mantle, causing hot mantle material to rise and cooler material to sink, creating a dynamic and constantly changing environment. As mantle material rises, it undergoes decompression melting due to the decrease in pressure. This process occurs at depths typically ranging from about 70 to 200 kilometers beneath the Earth's surface, where temperatures are high enough to overcome the solidest temperature of mantle rocks. The solidest temperature is the point at which a rock transitions from solid to liquid under specific pressure conditions. Additionally, magma generation can be influenced by the presence of volatiles such as water, carbon dioxide, and sulfur dioxide, which lower the melting temperature of mantle rocks by facilitating the breakdown of mineral structures. These volatiles are often introduced into the mantle through subduction zones, where tectonic plates converge and one plate is forced beneath another into the mantle. Subduction zones are one of the most important settings for magma generation on Earth. As the subducted oceanic plate descends into the mantle, it carries water-rich sediments and hydrated minerals with it. These materials release volatiles as they undergo metamorphism and dehydration, causing the overlying mantle to become enriched in volatiles, thus lowering its melting temperature and promoting magma generation. Once magma is formed, it can either intrude into existing rock formations, forming intrusive igneous bodies such as plutons and batholiths, or it can erupt onto the Earth's surface as lava, forming extrusive igneous features like volcanoes and lava flows. The composition of the magma, which is influenced by the composition of the source rocks and the degree of partial melting, determines the characteristics of the resulting igneous rocks and volcanic eruptions. Overall, magma generation is a complex process driven by a combination of factors including heat, pressure, composition, and the presence of volatiles. Understanding this process is essential for elucidating the dynamics of Earth's interior and the formation of its crust, as well as for assessing volcanic hazards and natural resource potential. Magma Generation Process The magma generation process is a complex and multifaceted phenomenon that plays a critical role in the Earth's geology, influencing the formation of igneous rocks and shaping the planet's surface features. This process involves a combination of physical, chemical, and thermal factors acting within the Earth's interior, ultimately leading to the formation of molten rock material known as magma. At the heart of magma generation lies the heat emanating from the Earth's core, a remnant of the planet's formation and sustained by ongoing radioactive decay of elements such as uranium, thorium, and potassium. This internal heat drives convective currents within the Earth's mantle, creating a dynamic environment where hot mantle material rises and cooler material sinks. As mantle material rises towards the Earth's surface, it undergoes decompression melting due to the decrease in pressure with increasing elevation. This process occurs within the upper mantle at depths typically ranging from about 70 to 200 kilometers beneath the Earth's surface. At these depths, temperatures are high enough to overcome the solidest temperature of mantle rocks, causing them to transition from a solid to a molten state. The solidus temperature varies depending on factors such as pressure, composition, and the presence of volatiles. Mantle rocks typically have high solidus temperatures due to the immense pressure exerted by the overlying rock layers. However, as mantle material rises and the pressure decreases, the solidus temperature decreases accordingly, allowing for partial melting to occur. The composition of the mantle rocks also plays a crucial role in determining the characteristics of the generated magma. For example, rocks rich in silica tend to have higher melting temperatures compared to those rich in iron and magnesium. Therefore, the composition of the source rocks influences the composition of the resulting magma, which can range from mafic, rich in iron and magnesium, 
to felsic, rich in silica. In addition to heat and pressure, the presence of volatiles such as water, carbon dioxide, and sulfur dioxide can significantly influence the magma generation process. These volatiles are often introduced into the mantle through processes such as subduction, where one tectonic plate is forced beneath another into the mantle. As the subducted plate descends into the mantle, it releases volatiles trapped within hydrated minerals and sediments, which can lower the melting temperature of surrounding mantle rocks and promote magma generation. Once magma is formed, it can either intrude into existing rock formations, forming intrusive igneous bodies such as plutons and batholiths, or it can erupt onto the Earth's surface as lava, forming extrusive igneous features such as volcanoes and lava flows. The composition and properties of the resulting igneous rocks and volcanic landforms are determined by factors such as magma composition, eruption dynamics, and subsequent cooling and solidification processes. Overall, the magma generation process is a dynamic and complex interplay of physical, chemical, and thermal processes within the Earth's interior. Understanding these processes is essential for unraveling the dynamics of Earth's geology, interpreting the formation of igneous rocks and volcanic landforms, and assessing volcanic hazards and natural resource potential. Types of Magma Generation Magma generation encompasses various processes that lead to the formation of molten rock material within the Earth's interior. These processes can be broadly categorized into several types based on the geological settings and mechanisms involved. Here, we delve into the diverse types of magma generation. Decompression melting One of the primary mechanisms of magma generation is decompression melting, which occurs when mantle rocks undergo partial melting due to a decrease in pressure as they rise towards the Earth's surface. This process commonly takes place at mid-ocean ridges, where tectonic plates diverge, creating tensional forces that cause the mantle material to upwell and undergo decompression melting. The resulting magma, known as basaltic magma, is relatively mafic in composition and often forms oceanic crust when it erupts at the surface. Flux melting. Flux melting involves the addition of volatiles, such as water, carbon dioxide, and sulfur dioxide, which can significantly lower the melting temperature of mantle rocks and promote magma generation. This process is particularly prevalent at subduction zones, where oceanic plates are forced beneath continental plates or other oceanic plates. As the subducted plate descends into the mantle, it releases volatiles through metamorphism and dehydration of hydrated minerals and sediments. These volatiles flux the overlying mantle, reducing its melting temperature and leading to the formation of magma. The resulting magmas can exhibit a wide range of compositions, from basaltic to andesitic and even dacitic or rhyolitic, depending on the degree of partial melting and the composition of the source rocks. Heat-induced melting Heat-induced melting occurs when mantle rocks are heated to temperatures above their solidus temperature due to the transfer of heat from nearby magma bodies or hot mantle plumes. This process can lead to the generation of magma in various geological settings, including hotspots, where mantle plumes upwell from the deep mantle to the Earth's surface, causing localized melting and volcanic activity. The resulting magma compositions can vary widely, depending on the source rocks and the extent of melting. Partial melting in continental crust In continental crustal environments, magma generation can occur through partial melting of crustal rocks, typically in regions of tectonic convergence or continental rifting. For example, during continental collision events, intense deformation and heating can lead to partial melting of continental crustal rocks, producing magmas with diverse compositions, ranging from basaltic to granitic. Similarly, during continental rifting, extensional forces can induce decompression melting of the continental lithosphere, resulting in the formation of mafic to intermediate magmas. Magma mixing and assimilation Magma generation can also involve the mixing and assimilation of pre-existing magmas with different compositions or the incorporation of crustal material into mantle-derived magmas. This process can occur in magma chambers or along magma migration pathways, leading to the production of hybrid magmas with distinct chemical signatures. 
Magma mixing and assimilation play crucial roles in controlling the eruptive behavior and evolution of volcanic systems. Overall, the types of magma generation are diverse and are influenced by a combination of factors, including tectonic settings, heat sources, pressure conditions, and the presence of volatiles. Understanding these processes is essential for deciphering the dynamics of Earth's geology, interpreting volcanic activity, and assessing geological hazards and natural resource potential.